Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Rainforest Artisan Water in an aluminum can. Next up is Rainforest Artisan Water in a carton. And yes, these are the same waters. It's not just the same brand, it's literally the same water from the same source. Everything about the water itself is the same. The only difference between these two is the packaging. But I think it's such a significant difference between these two packages and it's such you know, they're both very unique packaging that I think, since it's a different material, it can have an effect on the taste of the water. So we're going to compare them and I'll decide which one I think tastes the best. So the aluminum one was $4.15 from salaciousdrinks.com. And if you bought this on Amazon, it's $45 for a 12 pack. The carton water was $2.49 from Salacious Drinks. And if you bought this for a 12 pack on Amazon, it would be $25. Amazon has been recommending this water to me for months. Like I've been wanting to drink this water for several months. I just couldn't justify spending $45 and $25 to review these. It's just too much. So I'm, I'm glad that Salacious Drinks sells individual waters. These are not very popular. On Amazon, this one only has three reviews. So it's not really fair for me to, you know, even mention the rating. But I will just say that one of the negative reviews described this water as oily and metallic. But I think these are not very popular because if you go to the company's website, they have a video on their homepage that's in a, it's an embedded YouTube video. And this video was uploaded over two months ago and it's on their homepage and it only has 65 views. So it kind of shows you that it's not that popular of a water. One of the only other people I've seen review this is a Instagram water reviewer called Taste This Waters. I think I've mentioned him before in, in previous videos. He's a really good water reviewer. He's done a lot of waters I haven't even done yet. Had a pretty negative review of the water. He, he actually did a, a review of the glass version. This company has aluminum cartons and glass. They do not have plastic. But he said it was a pretty mediocre water. And he says it was just okay. And he, uh, he mentions that it's like always a bad sign when you go to a company's, a water company's website and they just talk about the packaging itself didn't really talk about the water and that's very true if you go to this company's website they talk about helping the environment you know buying this water will help plant trees and it says it's helped plant 18,000 trees so far and it talks about just the packaging itself but there's really like no mention at all on the website about the water it just it's from Costa Rica which is kind of neat and it has a 6.6 .6 pH but it says nothing else about the water itself I kind of even wonder what it means when it says they planted 18,000 trees. Does that just mean that they <clears throat> just tossed a bunch of seeds around? <laughs> like 18,000 seeds? Um, maybe they did actually, you know, make sure each seed grew into a tree. Maybe they did, but it, it's they're kind of vague about it on the website. But I'm really excited about these waters because this this one in particular, the aluminum one, is such a cool container like this is really solid aluminum and it just feels really good in my hand um this is not like thin aluminum you know if you buy a, a coca-cola can if you squeeze it you can feel the aluminum bending inward you can't you can't do that with this i can squeeze this as hard as i can it's like it feels rock solid it feels like a baseball bat an aluminum baseball bat just feels really good, feel, feels really high quality. And I'm gonna feel bad. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up just throwing this out when I'm done. Maybe I'll reuse it a couple times, but this is such good quality, I feel bad just throwing this out. And I think it just feels so good because it's unique, because I'm so used to plastic stuff. A long time ago, all the bottles were glass. I bet you when they first started doing plastic bottles, I bet people were like, just holding them and being like, wow, this is so cool. This is plastic. It's clear. It's, it's different. And it was just, it was cool because it was different. This is the same way. It's like, it's cool because it's different. And you, you never see, I've never seen a aluminum bottle. I've seen aluminum cans for water. You know, sometimes uh, beer companies will have aluminum bottles, but even that's kind of rare. And I think aluminum is just a really good material to hold. Like, uh, Max are made out of aluminum. It just feels good. I've got this dice cube thing. 
sometimes in my carrot videos, I'll just spin this around. I just think it feels really cool. Um, so let's open them up and do a taste test. Even the lid itself is all aluminum. But I, I am a little worried because of the negative reviews. Sometimes these cartons taste like glue, and sometimes the metal cans give it like a metallic taste. But here we go. Just average water. It's got a strong ice cube taste, like an aftertaste to it. This one has actually less of an aftertaste. Here's the pH levels. It says it's a 6.5. That looks pretty accurate. It looks like about a 6 to me, but I'm colorblind. What do you guys think it is? It's telling me I'm not connected to a network. So the reason that I waited to do the pH test is because I wanted to show you how strong the bottle was before I opened it. But even now that it's open and it's almost all gone, it's still really strong. If I put my finger in here, it's a really thick aluminum. I can feel like the thickness between this. It's really, you know, good quality. It also says there's a QR code on the carton and on the bottle. It says if you scan it, you can hear the sounds of the rainforest. And so it turns out scanning the QR code is supposed to take you to an iPhone and an Android app that just plays the sounds of the rainforest. And it turns out that that app is not created yet. <laughs> and it's kind of weird that they would sell these cartons and bottles before the information on the bottle is accurate yet just because they haven't released their app yet now while i'm doing this review i want to show, show you the inside of the carton i'm kind of curious what's in it, in it myself Look, there's there's kind of like a shiny maybe a metallic inside to it but other than that, it just looks like a pretty standard milk carton. So I'm going to say that the winner is the aluminum one. I prefer the taste of it. I think that there's less of an aftertaste. That's why I'm picking it as the winner. But as an added bonus, I think the packaging is also better on the aluminum one. I just think this is so cool. Like this, this bottle, it's so neat and feels so good quality. If I was like a multi-millionaire like a rapper <laughs> and they were coming to my house to shoot an episode of MTV Cribs I would fill my fridge with this just because it seems so cool and it seems like such a luxury product if I was a multi-millionaire on a day-to-day day-to-day -day, day -day basis I would drink Starkey spring water but just to show off to people I think I would fill my fridge with this just because it seems really high quality okay so to further show you how strong I think the bottle is I'm going to attempt to nail in a nail with the bottle. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but here we go. Uh, no, it put a hole in the bottle. So it's, it's pretty strong, but it's not strong enough to pound in a nail. Thanks for watching everyone.